this is the Q from Common Spring Sci-Fi. I'm sitting here with Denver Cast, and oh wait, you guys will <laughs> understand that reference. Certainly, listen to the Defenders podcast. Listen to the way. Defenders. Send the news. Send the news. Uh, and the Bradcast, and I'm the Q Cast, and it's time for another edition of Q's News. Cue the music. Du, 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 du. Okay. Du, 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 du. <laughs> yeah. Right. The teletype gone. <laughs> <laughs> Our first bit of news is that uh, the new download pack for the in Justice 2 Ooh. has been released, the three new characters, which two of them we seen coming and one of them we did not see coming. Which so, characters? So, uh, Raiden is Ooh. coming from Mortal Kombat, coming over, nice. which he'll join Sub-Zero, who was in the first pack. Black Manta, which we knew that was hmm. coming. He's Aquaman villain. Right. Um, it's going to be in the new Aquaman movie, so that makes sense. But the surprise that everyone's talking about is Hellboy. Really? really? Wow. From Dark Horse Comics is going cool. to be in Injustice 2. Nice. So I don't know how they worked that I can't out, wait but to I am see the so cinematics. happy. Now, does, uh, is, is Hellboy, is that, is that character, is Dark Horse owned by DC? No, no they're really? all separate companies. So wow. the fact that um, NetherRealm had to work out a deal with Dark Horse, who had to work out a deal with DC... So, like, that was a lot of finagling going on there. Yeah. So, uh, but Hellboy is going to be in it. That's the pro- I think that's going to be the surprise of the game. Um, being someone like me who brought the Ultimate Edition, so I get it for free. Well, I haven't played Injustice 2. How does that stack up? I've, I've got Injustice. I played okay. that with my kids many times. Okay. How does the new one compare? Um, the storyline is amazing. Um, I like it. And you finished the storyline oh, already? I've been finished. I've finished like <laughs> twice. Well, you get to make decisions. You, you you can choose different characters. You'll come up to a point, and let's say you could choose to either fight with Green Arrow or you can fight with uh, Black Canary. And you have to choose whichever character you want to. Obviously, I choose Green Arrow. I'm better with him. So, <laughs> but you have to go back through the story to and choose the other character so you can get, see another cinematic. That's all. But uh, with the epic gear that's coming out and then the multiverse, to me, it's a better game. I think it's better than Injustice well, the graphics 1. obviously have to be better. Oh, yeah, they're because, improved. Because it's newer. Yeah, they've improved. Um, they're on the next-gen system, obviously. Yeah. They've improved. I can't say nothing, en- enough about the game. I play it, try to play it at least every day. No wonder you're not getting any sleep. No wonder. No. Or uh, I finished The Defenders. <laughs> hey. hey. S- see the other podcast. <laughs> Never was just upset because he can spoil everything. I can't wait for Injustice 3. Uh, if they don't make a 3, they'll be the... Oh, so there's nothing thing. official yet. There's nothing official You're just yet. hoping. I'm just... I'm not hoping. I, so when are we going to get this so head-to-head uh, uh, game do- or Injustice down with you and Sarah to see who's the better player? I think it's between Q and Rich, apparently. Oh, right. That's he, right. Because Rich beat Sarah at her own game. She said she's <laughs> not, she's not she's a fan not a, of button mashing Yeah, games. she's not oh. a... Well, it's not a button mashing You have to learn the combos. And whenever Richie want to do this, he already got beat in the ring. Now, if you want to get beat on the sticks, he can get beat on the sticks, too. I don't know. My son Bruno's pretty good at it, so you might have to well, take Well, you know. <laughs> yeah, we, can bring, we can bring Bruno in. We he's can a, bring he's Bruno a good man. in this. You know, uh, hey, I spend no expense. I beat the kids of all ages. <laughs> 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 so what else do you got there, Mr. Newsman? Uh, the, uh, the rumor is, there's this is the rumor part of Ooh, Q's news, rumors. that Joss Whedon has cut. All of Jesse Eisenberg's Lex Luthor scenes Hooray. in the new Justice League. I am movie. so happy with Joss Whedon right now. Um, it's a rumor. Uh, if he has, wish, I wish, would wish. not be opposed to it. As Jesse Eisenberg was probably the main thing I did not like about Batman v Superman. What? Uh, There's something my, you didn't like about it? In my personal BVS uh, Ultra Cut, uh-huh. he has been removed from the entire movie. So he must fast forward fast all it, it, of his It is scenes. absolutely a more enjoyable movie. Now, Without. it is hard to explain what that big... Uh, uh, Painting? Uh, no, that oh. big green building is in the middle of town without the guy who owns it. But that's not important. <laughs> <laughs> um, I... <laughs> Again, last week, uh, as you know, I talked about the reshoots, the extensive reshoots that Joss Whedon has been doing. I'm still a little worried about these reshoots because, like I said, I think they're removing 
the aspect. And if he's trying to make this more like a Marvel movie, I just don't think I'm going to. Oh, no, they won't let him do that. Well, I don't know. Wonder Woman, everyone praised Wonder Woman for being more Marvel like in that it had some lighter moments. And I don't mind lighter moments, but it was still a darker movie. Well, yeah, it's World War One, one of the most yeah. violent wars, wars of all time. Yeah. Right. So, so war to end all wars. Yeah. yeah, they fucked that name up. Um, <laughs> one can dream. <laughs> yeah. One more war and one more world war and might be having another one. But anyway, um, we don't talk politics here. Uh, <laughs> well, it's history, so I guess we're safe. Yeah, right, right exactly. So, okay. so really, what um, don't you agree that that the the theatrical BVS was pale compared to the extended version? Yes, I believe the extended okay, version... Well, why was the extended version better? I'm because to all, the the, all the scenes, to me, all the scenes that Warner Brothers told Zack Snyder to get... They, Zack Snyder had a three-hour movie. Warner Brothers said, cut it down. So... The scenes that Zack... And I've said... I'm on record as saying this. The scenes that Zack Snyder took out, he should have left in. Right, okay. There were scenes that he could have removed that he didn't. Okay, well... So I always said that BVS had a bad editing job. That's true, but... I never said... We've been doing this for three years, okay? Okay. August of 2014. One of the very first video... Uh, a webcast that we did mm-hmm. was BVS is being shot in town, and then six months later, we were talking about reshoots, and we were hoping that what they were doing was putting in some more jokes because they were complaining that it was too dark. Now, if they're doing the same thing with another movie, we got a 50-50 chance Joss Whedon is is the man when it comes to some of this stuff, taking really dark stuff and making giving you really good belly laughs at the right time to to lighten the mood so you can he can haul you back in and then laugh you out of it and haul you back in and then laugh you out of it. We could really benefit from some good reshoots. Well, apparently with Rogue One, they did massive reshoots to restructure, and that worked out great, at least in my mind. Um, I know you you guys weren't uh, necessarily Well, I didn't like that they killed everybody in the end, but I guess that was the premise, and I missed that somehow at the beginning. I didn't realize it was a suicide mission. I was just going, ooh, Star Wars, Star Wars, and completely, yeah, so. I'm trying to keep an open mind here, guys, you know? I'm learning something new. I am... Not a fan of the. I, let's let me rephrase. Let me think about how to say this before I say this. The Marvel movies, one, they don't stick to the books. That's 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 always been well known, documented by me. I don't feel that. I feel that in the face of when you're in a big cataclysm fight. You're not going to be joking around as much as they do. I'm sorry. That's just how I feel personally. I don't know Gallo's humor. Don't police right. officers, aren't they well known for right. having dark, so sick, a lot of A lot of cop shows, of that's why you enjoy but it. But not in the middle of a shootout. Um, I'm not cracking a joke in the middle of a shootout. C- come on. Now, let's just be serious. Well, you're not going to be getting bullets I've never, shot. I've never at, been in the middle of a shootout. So but but I'm know. just saying, you're not going to be in the middle of a shootout talking about some, oh, dee, 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 dee. <laughs> no. Like, you have to realize something. Gotham is a dark, oh. twisted town. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, but here, I guess here's my problem is that Zack Snyder has never been able to nail the serious, darker tone that Christopher Nolan has. Christopher Nolan did it to perfection. He made it dark and gritty and real world. And Zack Snyder but has too much gloss. Nolan and also made an original story. Zack Snyder is trying to pull pages from the book and adapt them to a movie, which is two completely different things. Remember, uh, the BVS was loaded with lines and plots from the books, at least four or five different comic books. So trying to pull them off the pages into one story is hard we've seen it with the watchman i mean the watchman did great one weekend then the next weekend it totally bombed because people didn't understand it because it was literally people didn't understand the books 
But that's what I'm saying. It was pulled verbatim from the book. So I and mean, it was an awesome movie, by the way. It was a great movie. And it was movie. awesome books. It was right. So, but that's to me is but brown side, and yellow. Little don't side s- story: What's going on with Watchmen in DC? Is that story? Is that story that's progressing? They are. Oh, uh, with the uh, rebirth. Yes. Oh, don't even give me. I haven't been able to. Uh, <laughs> read any of them dude i need seriously. to catch fail, up i need fail. to catch up yes right. i need to catch up so are those watching well, characters are, now, now in, they're the in the dc universe yes they are a part of the cool. DC universe. That should be fun. which everyone yeah. is hoping that actually back to injustice that the next three characters coming out one of them oh, is we'll a be watch from watching character. that'd be cool yeah rorschach and uh the owl that would be fun i would rather have i or mean you, you gotta want, have you dr manhattan yeah but see that's not fair Number one, he, he, is. he could use that as a weapon. <laughs> <laughs> but, but he was a pac- he was a pacifist he is, for the most part. That's true. That yeah, true. and there's no challenge he believes, there, he there's just no blow challenges. He's just right. 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 That, so, was, that was the other thing I was going to say. There's no challenge. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so what else you got there, Mister Newsman? I got another one that um, I'll keep it with our DC trend here. Okay. Um, the Joker. There's a Joker origin story coming out. And written and directed by Todd Phillips, who right. did the Hangover, who did the Hangover, oh, okay. and and produced by Martin Scorsese, Scorsese which so is the Joker, best part. Really, the Joker is a gangster, and Martin Scorsese is that's, the king of gangsters. That's his. Those yeah. are his movies. That should be good. Um, but unfortunately, it's a prequel, so Jared Leto will not be in it because the Joker will be younger. And it will be in a separate, separate universe if, from the I don't think, extended, the DC extended universe. I think what they're going to end up doing is it's not going to be separate. I think when they say it's not going to be a part, it's because the events that they're going to cover are going to take place so far in the past that they're not going to affect what they're doing now. Uh, Jared Leto's a good actor. He could pull off a younger... I didn't say he younger. couldn't. I, mean, I didn't say he couldn't, but... In the movies, he's got so much makeup on, all they have to do is take the makeup off, and he'll look like a baby. That's true. And they can use some of that de-aging uh, effects that they <laughs> use like on Robert Downey Jr. Oh, yeah, that was awesome. And Michael uh, Douglas. Uh, yeah, I'm going to say Michael Douglas and Ant-Man. Yep. Um, but they're doing the same thing with and the And Kurt Russell movie. and Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So Marvel's got that technology uh, perfected. Well, Disney does. Um, Star Wars, too, you know. Um, but, but they're doing the same thing with the Batman movie, too. Yes. No Ben Affleck. No Ben and Affleck. Now well, this, I, to me, I'm so done with this so Batman wait, movie. Wait, 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 wait. Because they don't Why know what do they want to do. Why do we need to see a Batman movie before he's Batman? Haven't we already no, been this is the, suffering through that my shit? My whole thing is you should have just let Ben Affleck do the Batman movie, the solo Batman movie. Yeah. To me, the whole point of the Batman movie, because people wanted to know about the Robin suit in the glass. If you would have based it so off it, of the, the so it would the be family. a it would be a prequel to Batman versus Superman. Exactly. Right, got it. Okay. okay, that's what I would have preferred. That would have been cool. Yeah, that would have been fine. Yeah, and then plus there would have um, been a lot more Joker action. Because in my mind, Batman and Ben Affleck was the best thing about Batman versus Superman. I get that. And so to that's have a solo movie with Ben Affleck. Oh man, that would have been great. Directed by well. Remember, he came and he rewrote his whole, all his lines to Batman v Superman, which he had the best dialogue in the movie. So, yeah. okay. what does that tell you? I would have just let him do it. But, well, he does have an Oscar for writing a movie. So, I mean, and don't directing. Me and don't he me. was supposed to write yeah. and direct, direct, but then they brought in Matt Reeves, Reeves, who did the last two Planet of the Apes movies, which is not bad, which were both awesome. So, right. I mean, I'm fully on board with him doing it. I just wish it was with Ben, ben Affleck. Affleck. Okay. Yeah. Um, grumble, grumble. So, what else is there, Mr. Newsman? Yes. Any non DC news? Yeah. Yes, I have yeah. non DC news. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so I, I remember. I remember way back when in the uh, the contract negotiations where you only had to do you 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 were only guaranteed ten minutes of DC exclusive action. Yes, I think you, you uh, boycotted the podcast yes, for a couple of weeks. I you remember. you actually went over that already here, so I'm really kind of hoping you have some more news that other people want to hear. I actually do. There was a recent interview with Finn Jones. Oh, the guy nice. who plays right. Randy Crybaby Iron Fist, who promises <laughs> that when season two starts shooting, they will have better fight scenes. I thought oh, the fight the scenes first. weren't the problem of that 
show, I, really. I don't know. I mean, they got a little repetitive in, in that it in was the beginning. only... Well, and, you know, he's trying to be Bruce Lee, or he's trying to be Kung Fu with the slap away. Yeah. It's like, I'm so much better than you, I don't want to hurt you. You know, a little yeah. rocky action come in and say, I'm sorry. Let me, here, go away. Yeah, they're not flies. It's, it's like when uh, their uh, third episode, oh, now you can punch them, he says. It's like... Cha, they're trying to kill you, dude. Well, Punch the hell out the of one them. That I, the one thing I want to see, which was not in the Defenders, is, you know, Iron Fist from the comic book, that fl- the hand was like flaming. On fire. It right. wasn't just glowing from the inside. Good complaint. So Good complaint. I would love to see in season two of Iron Fist the full-on yeah. fiery fist. Yeah, let's see some concentrated chi already. Oh, I, I totally agree with you guys. I am uh, all for that. Because, as you know... And let's see him in costume. Yeah. Of yeah. some sort. Let's see some silk. I don't think they're going to do the costume. I mean, we've, got, we've seen the tattoo on the chest. Yeah. But no, like, green jogging <laughs> pants or <laughs> yellow if bandana. Bring, yeah, come on. If, if they bring those out, I think... Uh, well, I mean, Marvel's done a good job with updating all the, the heroes' looks. Right. And that is one of the best things about the Defenders right. is them making fun of <laughs> Matthew Murdoch's costume. costume. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. listen to our Defenders podcast. Yeah. Uh, more in, uh, uh, info about that. More info about that. More info about that. And, um, and our last little bit of news that uh, this week, Terminator will be... Returning to theaters. Terminator 2 and Terminator 3D. Two in 3D. It is the best Terminator movie of all time. One of the rare sequels that was better than is the first better. one. better, yeah. I mean, I think the only reason the first one wasn't as good because the, the budget was so small. I think Arnold uh, joked one time that the catering budget on Terminator 2 was bigger than the entire budget of Terminator 1. I can see that. So, I can see that. Uh, the to, to me, the Terminator One premise was revolutionary for the time, and yes, I mean just think about it when he's was was he repairing his eye in that the mirror? Yeah, uh, Terminator One. Yep. Those were considered top notch special effects. So I really want to say half the budget probably went to that scene alone. That and, uh, <laughs> and the models of the future, the future. Well, and yeah. even Battles. even T two with uh, the T one thousand. Oh, that, that in was, and of itself that was, state was of the art, yeah. awesome technology. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So so that's this weekend. And then the following weekend, weekend they're weekend. also dusting off Close Encounters of the, the Third, third kind, kind. That should be Which good. is one of the all-time great Science sci-fi movies. masterpieces. Yeah, so you've got to see was, that on the big screen. That was what? That was a Steven Spielberg early success. Yep. Shortly, two years after E.T., where if you didn't no, know, this was before E.T. I thought uh, so when Encounters was 83 and E.T. It, no, was 81. No, when Jaws, then he did, uh, I believe he did 1941, then he did Close Encounters. 75, 78, 81, 83. I don't know. I'll have to check. Yes. Either way. Either way. And in some uh, quasi-related uh, music news, John Carpenter announced yesterday oh, that yeah. he is putting out an album called... Uh, anthology yeah. and he's went through and re-recorded all of his best movie themes and is putting them out on a record and is going out on tour and oh, okay. uh, i reached out to the record company we'll also have a music video nice. coming out within the month um before the the record's release which is october 20th i want to say oh, okay um and then just this morning foo fighters released a mu- new music video that is full on sci fi. Yeah. It I references saw you about that. at least four or five different classic movies that I could spot, maybe more, but there's a little Close Encounters in there. There's a little Stranger Things in there. Wow. Uh, there's a little. Um, on your link on the Facebook page, does it. Can you hear it? Can yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, yeah. I just no, saw, I just saw the mention page, of it when I was at work. And uh, we got it posted there, so it, it's a great, great music video. All right, so we'll check go it out. Ahead and check it out. Well, this has been another edition of Q's News with the brand <laughs> cast. The brand <laughs> and the Denver <laughs> cast. <laughs> I'm just getting one of those 60 minute clocks. <laughs> uh, thank you for tuning in, and we'll see you next week. Bye bye. Bye bye.